Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to look into the top 5 most used weapons inside of Trials of Osiris, so let's get right into it. At number 5 we have Felwinter's Lie. Despite receiving a slight nerf, Felwinter's Lie is still reigning supreme in the Trials playlist, sitting at over 600 and 76,000 kills. At number 4 we have Pulse Rifle Messenger sitting at over 690,000 kills. This Trials of Osiris Pulse Rifle is unique because it can drop with the perk called Desperado which was once only limited to the ritual weapon called Redrick's Broadsword. But this is not the only Pulse Rifle on this list. Right up next on third number we have Darkest Before which is dropping from the Prophecy Dungeon sitting at over 699,000 kills very close to the Messenger even though it does not have Desperado, it still feels amazing to use in PvP. Even if you have a terrible roll of this weapon, it still shreds through enemies, which is why you should farm this weapon. And there's plenty of people looking to farm Prophecy in our Discord, link will be in the description. At number 2 there is Ace of Spades. With the recent changes being made to 140s and 150 RPMs, there's no doubt Ace of Spade made its way into the top 2s. It is one of my favorite exotic hand cannons and it feels very snappy to use, currently sitting at over 900 and 13,000 kills, which is pretty crazy. But what's crazier is what we have at number 1. We have Vex Mythoclast, a weapon that once could not find its place inside the PvP sandbox, now sits at over a million and 700 kills, made by it within 24 hours of trials going live. It is currently dominating the trials playlist, both in terms of usage and most kills made by a weapon. Let me know what you guys think about this top 5 list and if you found this information helpful, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe.